Do you think it takes balls to cry? It takes balls to cry. Do you mm. think so? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Do you think it takes balls to cry? Do you think that it takes balls to cry? Do you think it takes balls to cry? Uh, yeah, in certain situations, yeah. It does, yeah. And why is that? If you cry and then, you know, you're still able to stand back up again, you know, that sure is a sign of strength, so... In the past, it's sort of, it's a girly thing to cry, but maybe now it's turned into a thing that... Actually, it's quite a positive thing to cry. So basically, my name's Koyin, I'm the VP support, and this week is my week, which I'm calling Let's Talk Mental Health. And in particular, we're focusing today on men's mental health. And I don't know if you know the statistics about guys, but it's a bit alarming. So under 45, the most likely cause of death is suicide. And 76% of them is male. It is yeah. shocking, but at yeah. the same time, it doesn't surprise no. me because we don't talk about it. We don't really talk about um, our emotions or our mental state very much as males. Sometimes men feel like they can't open up in regards to their feelings. That's why we're just encouraging guys to think about their mental health it's okay to cry and it's okay to show emotion express yourself it doesn't make you weak in fact it shows courage there's no there's no shame there's no harm for men to express their emotion if you know they're having a crap day like cry about it so we've got these balls so we've got these balls so we've got these balls that I'd love to give you guys do take okay. one it's a stress ball and on it it says it takes balls to cry a ball for you and I encourage you to give that to a male friend of yours or a family member and tell them that it does take balls to cry and it's okay <laughs> and you can come and speak to us anytime Time, it's students union we want to make sure you're safe and happy crying doesn't make you weak it's okay to express emotions and it's healthy